Hi, my name is Michael Manicardi. I'm a theatre maker, theatre owner, and I run a small 100-seater theatre for an international community theatre in Amsterdam called the Budhouse Theatre. I was asked and honoured to make a, a short review of um, the Cultural Lab of Europe, which I took part in as a part of the culture of solidarity in the crisis months of May and June 2020. Of course, you might hear a difference in sound quality between a random Zoom meeting and a studio interview. This is quite dramatic, but that's the reality. The plan was to examine the causes of fragmentation on a European level, connecting and scaling up different creative European projects. We were given this as the beginning point. So we separated up and broke down into seven different groups. Thank you so much, Neno, for you know, giving us all of the details and information. So the first group that's going to present is titled Queering Practices. So bear in mind to all of us, 10 minutes to present. We're going to have later on time for Q&A. I will switch off my camera so you or all of you are in the first plan. So go ahead. This is a quick review of the groups and workshops we did together in a period of world and European crisis in May and June 2020. But now, in hindsight, as we look back, in autumn 2020, we approach a winter of deeper problems and discontent. Are we all ready for this? And we have, you know, Igor and Roberto here. So whenever you're ready, feel free to start. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, welcome, everybody. My name is Igor. I represent one of the project's partners, Kritika Polityczna, but also I was honored to uh, facilitate one of the groups. And together with Roberto Perez, we are going to present the results before I start and afterwards give the floor to Roberto. I just want to make sure and it's a question to uh, Maria and Meno. When Roberto shares his screen, we all will see it, right? That's a technical question. Yes, that should be no problem. Okay, perfect. So, um, so the proposal we would like to share with you is an open access and multi-dimensional map existing in an online environment and aimed at investigating a framework for artistic and cultural solidarity action toward marginalized groups and communities being under a political attack. We took recent attacks against LGBT plus community in Poland, which take place against the background of presidential elections that will be held on June 28th as a point of departure for creating a map a map of cases around the world where LGBT plus communities and individuals are under attack due to political benefits of the right wing populist and conservative movements, electoral platforms and parties. A map of social campaigns in support of the LGBT plus communities as responses counter powering attacks conducted by the right and eventually a map of cultural and artistic solidarity actions, which at the same time offer creative and imaginary work towards inventing new societies where no one will be excluded, marginalized, nor deprived of dignity. Such a map, we believe, can become a platform upon which better understanding of how to combat political attacks against vulnerable social groups through an artistic and cultural intervention can be built. The 50 participants came from all over Europe, from the Croatian islands, to Northern Irish villages, to the border of Eastern Poland and Russia. Thank you. So now we have Fellowship of Questions group coming up. Uh, with Chris being uh, their facilitator. So uh, just bear with us a couple of, you know, seconds, minutes until we get everything sorted and we're coming up. Okay. So as you can see, our group spent a whole week talking about questions, asking questions, framing questions, and coming up with no answers at all. But 
we have some more questions for you. What would it be like if we could connect people from all over Europe through questions and uncertainties? Would that create a tool for change or would it just be a recipe for an awesome mess? We created a fictional digital city of clay using the idea of from Italo Calvino's invisible cities. And in this invisible digital city, we created different communities and how we could imagine a better society of communication and solidarity and not a fragmented and isolated Europe, but a Europe that communicates, cooperates and cares. Thank you so much uh, for your presentation. Uh, so we are going to reflect on all of this when we finalize all the group presentations. So I'd like to now invite the group Ecology of Care uh, with the facilitator Lina to address all of us and present their program. Thank you so much, everyone. You're now going to hear some of the groups present themselves. But basically we had groups that were about the right to move and act and do. A group about the ecology of care, about how rural communities have just as much necessity to be supported as urban communities. A very interesting group called the Fellowship of Questions that has created a website in which you can ask questions and get answers. Taking people away from isolation. The group called Making the Invisible Communities Visible, which, which is of course about making the small more powerful. The big will always have enough money. The big always create capital for themselves. Also, the group about queering practices about the LGBT community, exposing, for example, the hypocrisies of the recent Polish elections. Listen to some of these discussions that took place at the cultural lab. Uh, it was the first time in a very long time that I felt I'm working on a project that touches me deeply or on a theme that touches me deeply and I feel the urgency of without having a body which is super strained. I really felt a flow. I really felt connected with the team and I really felt in spite of this separation in physical space that I was really connected and my body was really flowing to the different places and experiences where they were, to the urgencies they were feeling. I felt carried, I felt touched, I felt heard. And I really felt uh, that I was stood, stood by in solidarity. That was amazing. We did it without just, <laughs> just feeling it. <laughs> And now to conclude this short talk, we're going to take a quote from the fantastic German playwright Brecht. Denn die einen sind im Dunkeln und die anderen sind im Licht. Und man sieht nur die im Lichte, die im Dunkeln sieht man nicht. Which basically means the people who are in the dark must be brought into the light. And the people who are in the dark are the weakest and the smallest, we are going to make the smallest visible. <laughs>